Good morning and welcome to the BioRef Academy of SEM Frigo. This is the training room where we deliver training to our partners and customers and test the components and technologies used in our units. As you can see, in this room there are three different types of unit, a booster system and two condensing units. The booster system consists of three suction lines. A medium temperature suction line with two compressors, a low temperature suction line with one compressor and a suction line for parallel compression. The first compressor of each suction line is driven by an inverter which is used to modulate the compressor's speed. Via a selector switch in the control panel, this control unit can be operated by a Carroll P-Rack PR300T controller or a Danfoss AKPC782A controller. This unit is equipped with technologically advanced, innovative components and functions, ensuring system optimization and guaranteeing considerable energy savings, especially in warm climates. In addition to parallel compression, this unit is also equipped with ejectors. Danfoss liquid ejector and vapor ejectors and Carroll vapor ejectors. In addition to these, there is a heat recovery stage and an exchanger for air conditioning. Four evaporators are connected to this unit. Three medium temperature evaporators with evaporation temperature at minus 10 degrees Celsius, two refrigerated cabinets and a medium temperature cold room, one low temperature evaporator in the low temperature control room with evaporation at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Each evaporator can work with either Carroll electronics or Danfoss electronics. The type of electronics depends on the electronics selected in the booster system. The expansion valves used in each evaporator can be one of two types. Stepper expansion valves or PWM expansion valves. The expansion valve is associated with evaporator and unit control. When the Carroll control is active, the expansion valve in the evaporator will be the stepper type valve. When the unit technology and control is Danfoss, the expansion valve used in the evaporators will be the PWM type. This is a very compact, low temperature condensing unit, Cubo 2 Smart, with a cooling capacity of 3.3 kilowatts at minus 30 degrees Celsius at a room temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. The characteristic feature of this condensing unit is its compactness and high efficiency, made possible by the compressor technology. It uses Toshiba permanent magnet DC compressors with a wide modulation range, ranging from 25 to 100 RPS. Thanks to this wide modulation range, between 25 to 100% of the rated capacity, high efficiency and stability can be ensured at partial loads too. Another very important feature available in this unit is the possibility to communicate with the controls on board the cold store or the refrigerated counter. This feature can be used to optimize the unit efficiency even more by working with the highest possible evaporation temperature and reducing the compressor's delta pressures. The onboard electronics of this unit is Carol. The main controller is the CO2 HECO P-Rack. The driver for the two Toshiba BLDC compressors is a PSD-1 driver. The electronic valve used to control the gas cooler pressure is an E2V-C electronic valve, designed to work up to 140 bar. 
This unit is connected to a single evaporator located inside the low temperature cold room. The evaporator control in this case is an MPX Pro unit and the expansion valve is an E2V-C stepper valve. Cubo2 Smart is available for two different applications. For low temperature uses, three models, 3.5, 5 and 6.5 kilowatt are available. While for medium temperature applications, four models, 2.5, 3.8, 5.5 and 8.2 kilowatt are available, respectively. This is a medium temperature condensing unit, Cubo 2 Plus. This condensing unit supplies 9 kilowatts at an evaporation temperature of minus 8 degrees Celsius and a room temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. This unit is connected to a medium temperature evaporator located in the medium temperature control room, which is managed by an MPX Pro control with stepper expansion valve. The control of this condensing unit is a PR100T P-Rack, specially designed to manage transcritical CO2 systems and condensing units. The inverter used for compressor modulation is an ABB inverter. In this unit, the compressor is a semi-hermetic reciprocating Bitzer compressor. We have two different types of unit, medium temperature and low temperature. In the medium temperature version, we use Bitzer or Dorin compressors, while in the low temperature version, we use Dorin two-stage compressors. The low temperature units are also called open flash tanks because they do not have a flash valve. The temperature and pressure of the receiver varies autonomously according to the system operating conditions, outside temperature and evaporation pressure. Different models are also available for Cubo 2 Plus based on the required cooling capacities. For low temperature applications, the available range is from a minimum of 1.2 kilowatts up to a maximum of 15 kilowatts. For medium temperature applications, the available range is from a minimum of 3.3 kilowatts up to a maximum of 37 kilowatts. All the units available in our training room, and which we reviewed previously, are connected to a Carroll BOSS system or Danfoss AKSM820 supervision system. Carroll controls are connected to the Carroll supervisor, while Danfoss controls are connected to the Danfoss supervisor. Both supervisors are connected to the local network and are accessible both from the SCM Frigo in-house network and from the outside. This allows us to monitor the units installed in this training room 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.